Hey YouTube, this is a new video because I was wondering what was the best EDC Swiss Army knife. So uh, on the table we've got all the Swiss Army knives that I've got and we'll start from the bottom here. This one is a Swiss Army knife that I got when I was a teenager, so a very long time ago. Um, I just got, uh, got it because I did a lot of outdoors activities, so I wanted a pocket knife with several features. So it's a very simple one, you know, two layers. You got the blade, then the blade. That is a bit scratched, but it's been used. Um, screwdriver, bottle opener, right here. Can opener on this side. I've got, um, it's got the, the old that I sharpened a little bit because it didn't come sharpened and the, the um, corkscrew and I put some kind of uh, toothpick that I made because I still carry it today sometimes if I just want to go with a very slim you know knife that I can put in my pocket uh, it's an old one so it doesn't have the tweezers and toothpick on the on the end like the new ones so that's the first one so problem with this one why did I want another one because it didn't have the toothpick. I do have one here, but I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Sometimes uh, I'll be fine with it. Sometimes, you know, I want more. It's, it's a very basic one. So then I got this one. This is the Cadet and I made a, a sheath for it. You know, just a regular leather sheath that I just dump in my pocket or whatever. So the Cadet that everybody knows, pretty much the same. The blade, this for this one is a Victoria Ox, of course. The blade, um, bottle opener, and uh, screwdriver. On this side, you've got the can opener with uh, the tiny uh, screwdriver at the end, and on the other side, nothing. So this is like oh, I forgot one thing that is very important. That this one doesn't have, and that's what and a reason why I don't carry it as as much either. This this is a nail file, and as you can tell, I've got pretty long nails, so I need a file. That's very important, and that's my cat playing with the knives, but that's okay. So yeah, I wanted a knife that that had uh, this okay the nail file, but again, it doesn't have a toothpick anywhere. But it's nice to carry that sometimes, you know, have it in your pocket. It's pretty simple and pleasant to have. Um, okay, so then I considered this one. This one is not mine, actually. This is the Victorinox Climber. So it's a little bit more bulky. Three layers for this one. <coughs> Got the blade as uh, the other one. Um, what else does it have? A small blade. The same features as before. Okay, same thing. And an important thing that it has, that I really wanted as well, is the scissors. Could be really handy for everyday use, to have a pair of scissors on you. So, I really like this one. Then it's got the corkscrew here. There is a, a toothpick, tweezers, um, the all is great, the Victorinox all is pretty good, and it, it's got this hook, where is it, hang on, where's the hook, it's right there, I don't see why I would use that for everyday use, honestly, I don't carry packages that, have, that need these kind of features, so, well, I thought this is pretty big for the amount of uh, tools that I will use. So I decided not to get this one. Now, before we move on to those two, let's move on to this part. So I thought, well, if I need um, a blade just to open packages, or not to eat or anything, just to open packages, I'll go for this. So this is the Victorinox Classic. So it has a very tiny blade. If we compare with, uh, let's say, the normal size Victorinoxes, 
as you can tell, much smaller. But to open boxes or whatever, it's, it's enough. So it's got a small blade. It's got the important nail file with a little screwdriver at the end. Um, and on the other side, a small pair of scissors. So if we compare with the, the normal size ones, very small, but they work fine. They're a bit small. Actually, it's got the tweezers and toothpick that I really wanted. Um, but, well, I was not completely satisfied with this, although I do carry this sometimes. Just I just dump it in my pocket with uh, this sheath that I made. So I'll put it in this sheath. There's a lanyard to uh, take it out. And uh, basically I'll just put that in my pocket and, well, not to lose it, I'll put this on my belt like this, put it through, so it rides like this, and this part goes in my pocket. So anyway, small Victorian Ox Classic, really nice, really nice. But I wanted something bigger for my, my bag, my, my purse. Now, uh, I bought this one. That's the Huntsman, so you all know the Huntsman blade. Just the same things, exactly the same features as the Climber, except that it has something more. Which is... That's my cat again, if you hear some noises. That's him playing under the table. It has a saw. Now, do I need a saw, a saw for everyday uses? No. Well. I thought, well, I could I could use it if I if I go to the woods or something, you know, like a, a hike, improvised hike or something. I'll have this on me. But um, actually, this goes in my day kit, my hiking kit. So uh, I, I added a very small screw, a screwdriver right here. So this is not for everyday use. It's for outdoor use. So is this one that I presented when I did the unboxing video. So it's just the blade and big saw again and the same features as before so can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver all. So again this is for hiking, for camping and stuff. So that leaves us with those two. Vengers again. Why do I prefer Vengers for um, EDC? Well, just because it has the file, the nail file, that very few Victorian Oxes have. So, the first one I bought was this one, the Scout one. And what it has is the Philips. I think that's pretty handy, you know, for everyday uses. I left the plastic part, because actually I'm not using this one. I, I chose a different one, which is basically the other one on the table. So. Uh, Philips, the old, here, go, okay, the blade again, oh, and I forgot, this one locks, so I thought that that was pretty good, but actually, I don't need a locking blade for everyday uses, I just use it for, um, you know, opening different things. And uh, to eat as well at work sometimes, and I don't need it to to lock, you know, to to eat basically. So that's it, and got the saw again for the same reason as uh, the huntsman, just in case I go for a hike and I need to cut some wood or something. So the two more features that it has is the saw and the locking blade. And of course what I liked is the Philips, it does have a file somewhere, right here, nail file, toothpick, tweezers, toothpick, important, because you might, I always have something <laughs> caught in my teeth and that's pretty, un pretty unpleasant. So yeah, I decided not to use this one because well, I don't really need the saw and I don't really need the locking blade. So, 
I decided to go for this one that I already presented in the previous video again. This one has everything that I want. A blade that is bigger than the classic, right? To eat for different things. Um, it has the file, of course, nail file. It has uh, the scissors, important part as well. It's exactly the same as this one, minus two things. So, the scissors, can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver, Phillips again, right there, and the all. And of course, toothpick, tweezers. So, this is roughly the same as this one, except that it has uh, only three layers, this one is four, so it's not as heavy as the other one. It doesn't have the saw and it doesn't have the locking blade. But for me, this is the perfect Swiss Army knife EDC because you got everything you could need, right? Phillips, in case you know you got something that, that isn't done, you know, sc some screw you need to tighten or something. Uh, normal screwdriver on this side and bottle opener, can opener, the scissors that are very handy, the blade of course, the nail file, and the toothpick, tweezers I don't use that much, but it could be very handy as well if, you, if you've got a splinter or whatever. So this is my choice, for me this is the perfect Swiss Army, EDC Swiss Army knife, for me. Now this is very personal again. But I think it's a really good compromise of what you can get. So my choice is this. So this goes in my purse or handbag. This is what I carry every day. I'll have knife on me, but something that is more of a, um, you know, one hand opening, something that is quick to take out and put back with a pocket clip or something. But this is the tool that I got in my in my purse. Uh, I've got um, I've got a Leatherman wave as well, but of course that's too heavy and too bulky to carry every day. So the wave is used mainly for outdoors, outdoor uh, activities as well. So here we go. So this is my um, summary, I would say, and conclusion on uh, my research on search army knives. Hope you liked it, and hope to see you soon for another video. Take care.